this video we're going to uh, explain the duality relations between the uh, different platonic solids. We're going to start by looking at the tetrahedron, uh, which we've got here, and you'll notice that we've, uh, uh, in this picture, we've uh, put a little dot at the uh, center of each face of the uh, tetrahedron. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, connect up these dots. Okay, so we're going to connect up the uh, centers of the various faces. What we find is that we get a new tetrahedron, as you can see inside here. Uh, a new tetrahedron, um, it's kind of upside down and, and uh, quite a bit smaller than the original one, but it, again, it is just a, a tetrahedron again. Um, <clears throat> and we can do uh, the same process again, right? We take the smaller tetrahedron we've got here and we can uh, link up uh, the uh, centers of the faces of that smaller tetrahedron. Um, then what we got here is that you get a, just a, a, a replica of the original uh, uh, you got a, re a replica of the original tetrahedron that you first started with. Okay, you can see it um, um, here. So, uh, and uh, but it's just shrunk down, and it's uh, considerably smaller than uh, than we started with in the first place. Um, and uh, the the uh, word that's used to describe the situation, we say that the tetrahedron is its own dual. Right? The dual of the tetrahedron is the thing that you get by uh, connecting together the midpoints of the uh, faces of the tetrahedron. But that is just a tetrahedron again, so a uh, tetrahedron is dual to itself. We get something a little bit more complicated if we do uh, do it with a cube. Okay, so here's the cube, and again, we've uh, marked the center of each uh, each face of the cube, and uh, we're going to connect uh, connect those centers together. And what we find is that we get a an octahedron like that. Okay, so we uh, there we had um, we started off with eight faces of the cube, and we uh, uh, and we mark a central point there, and they, um, and so that gives us eight points, and so those become the eight vertices of this uh, octahedron that we've got in the middle. And uh, you, you can kind of see actually that uh, for each vertex of the uh, of the cube, uh, kind of uh, m looking inwards from that, uh, we get a uh, uh, we get one of these faces of the octahedron. So the uh, um, for each vertex of the cube, we get a face of the octahedron, uh, giving us uh, eight vertices of the cube and eight. Uh, Eight faces of the octahedron, like that. and uh, we can repeat the process. Okay, so we take the uh, centers of the faces of the octahedron and we join those up. And what we find is that uh, we get a cube again. Okay, so uh, there's the cube, and there's uh, the cube right in the middle. Okay, so once you do, if we do this process twice, firstly we get an octahedron, and then secondly we get a cube. And it's kind of exactly the same cube as we started with, but just shrunk down, shrunk down a bit. Okay. So uh, the uh, what, we, uh, what we say about this is that the uh, the cube is dual to the octahedron. Octahedron is dual to the cube. Uh, we take one of these things, join up the centers of the faces, then we get the other one. And uh, now we'll do the uh, most complicated one of these. Uh, we can uh, start with the uh, dodecahedron like this. And we've got our uh, 12 pentagonal faces, and we join up the uh, centers of these 12 pentagonal faces, like so, and it turns out that what we get uh, is an icosahedron. <coughs> so, uh, I mean, you get a, uh, you've got this point here as the center of one of the uh, vertices, is the center of one of the faces of the dodecahedron, and there's kind of five faces adjacent to that, which has five uh, central points uh, arranged around this one. So we get, uh, so it looks like this, um, and yeah, in each uh, yeah, each vertex of the dodecahedron, you've got kind of three faces adjacent to it, and that's what kind of creating this three uh, threefold symmetry that uh, makes uh, all the uh, faces of the uh, of the icosahedron be triangles. Yeah. So here we see uh, icosahedron being dual to a dodecahedron, and uh, as we've seen in the other cases, the relation is is symmetric. Right? So we. Uh, uh, we take the dual of the icosahedron. Right? So we connect together the centers of these uh, uh, of these twenty triangular faces of, of the icosahedron, and what we end up getting is just the dode dodecahedron again. So here's our original dodecahedron, and it becomes an icosahedron, and then we get the dodecahedron again right in the middle. So the icosahedron and the dodecahedron are dual to each other. So we've got our five different platonic solids. So uh, you've got two dual pairs, uh, the cube and the octahedron are dual, the uh, dodecahedron and the icosahedron are dual, but then the uh, tetrahedron is dual to itself. 